But hello everyone, my name is Sugar Andy, and I've done a few of these before, and they may be kind of weird, but for some reason you guys keep on watching them more than some of my other things, and I kind of enjoy making these. So I thought that my bookshelf would be a curious addition to the exploring stuff <laughs> series. I'm gonna be doing more of these, I have a lot of random stuff I could show you. And very few actual content ideas, so shabam! Um, right now it's not too messy, but a little bit. So I will kind of reorganize it while telling you guys about the stuff that's on it. I'll go from top to bottom probably because uh, I just feel like it. What do you do? Hola. Yeah, I don't know how that's gonna work. I guess I'm gonna just take down whatever I'm showing you and show it to the camera in this weird angle that you're seeing me from. On the top shelf I have all my figurines and stuff like that. I have very few figurines but they're all... That's why they can all sit up here obviously. If I had more I wouldn't have much space for them. I'll start from the back. So I have this Sailor Moon thing that I think I got in London. No, I got her at an event and I'm pretty sure it's Sailor... Urena. <laughs> Don't be a pervert now. Yeah, it is. I haven't taken her out of the box because I'm still not quite sure what to do with her. This is her. She's adorable. I think I bought this one myself. Some of these are gifts from other people. But over here I have... I forgot her name now. I get a feeling her name was Chie, but I'm probably wrong. From Higurashi, the teacher. It's... It was extremely cheap on Amazon, so I had to get it at the time it was being sold. Not that it, like the teacher is my favorite character in Higurashi, but there's hardly any Higurashi things out there, and it's my... Oh, I have my poster up there, you can actually see it now. Um, Higurashi is my absolute favorite anime of all time, so anything Higurashi is good. The teacher was cute, she's not like my favorite, but the figurine was really cheap, and it, you know, I, I used my chance to get it. In front of her, I have I have Azumyan from K On. This was a gift from two of my classmates for Christmas. I hadn't watched K On at that point, but I watched it now, so I can appreciate it even more. I thought it was cute at the time, but now I actually, you don't know who it is, <laughs> so I'm not an idiot. This place is dusty. I'm gonna need to clean it for poor Pusheen. So here I have a Pusheen which I got from this box. I'm pretty sure in my London haul I was showing this my little machine. I got the little cook with the cupcake. It's absolutely adorable. I also have... One of my friends gifted me a Vocaloid box. Like random chibi. I got Kaito, who is sadly probably my second least favorite out of the Krypton Vocaloids after Len. I'm sorry to all the Len fanboys and fangirls out there, I just, uh, do not like him. He seems like a little... Yeah, I'm not gonna make that joke. It's 2019, I can't make such jokes anymore. I like his sister more. <laughs> I like, like, one song by Kaito, and that's Cantarella. Hit me up if you actually listen to Vocaloid. This is my bubblegum Funko Pop that I bought... <laughs> so dusty. That I bought in London two years ago. It actually, it's head fell off randomly. I think as soon as I took it out of the package, it's head fell off. So yeah, but my mom glued it back together for me. I was gonna do it, but I always put it off and then she just one day did it. Did me the favor. There is some space for figurines here still, but small ones, not boxes of them. This is my Mercy Funko Pop, which is adorable and Mercy's probably my favorite. Oh, I just dropped her, oh God. My favorite Overwatch character. She was a gift from one of my friends in real life, one of my closest friends, who actively watches my videos, so props to you, girl. Then I have my little Sailor Moon, which I bought back in London, because she was tiny enough to bring back with me. She was so cute. This was in a package that you get randomly. They're called Squish Delish. <laughs> And they smell like stuff. This smells really sweet. It's pretty adorable. It's also by a friend of mine that gifted it to me on my birthday. 
And I have Peeplop. I don't know if that's the name in English. I should, it should be. I doubt they really change the names. But yeah, I got Peeplop from an event because it was adorable and super cheap. Now, I have two big Luca figurines. Luca's always been my favorite, forever a favorite, after Ia, but it'll take a while till people actually start selling Ia figurines, right? So I have this one. It's been a dilemma of mine whether to take it out of the box or not, because I think she looks gorgeous inside and outside the box, as in she's such a pretty figurine. I decided not to take it out for now, and maybe I shouldn't, because I'll be moving, so maybe if I want to take it with me, it'd be better if I kept her in the box. And the last thing that's here is my second big Luca figurine, which was more like a birthday present from my dad. It's the Luca Blackjack version. I love this outfit and I want to cosplay it so bad, but I do feel like I'm too immature to do it yet. Yeah, another case of me wondering whether to take it out or not. I probably will take this one out in the future. This thing that I hung off of here, I, I mainly hung it here because I thought it looked really cute and I didn't want to shove it in this bag where I keep all my bags I have this big thing. But I thought it was really cute. I haven't found anything to wear it with yet, but it's so pretty. So I put it on display instead so you can see it in every single one of my videos in the background. It's my Sailor Moon bag. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I think on the inside it also has a pattern. Yeah, I even have the little thing that keeps it together. It has an adorable little pattern. I love this bag to death, so I just keep it as a decoration up there. Whoop. Now, we move on to an actual shelf with books. I'm gonna try and go over the books quickly because I don't want to take 10,000 years of your time to show you everything. So first one is a gift from somebody, which is a coloring book with numbers. Which I find is a really weird thing to give to somebody you know actually draws. But I know some of my artist friends actually enjoy doing that and find it stress relieving. Second one is this book, Sketch Workshop, Cityscapes, I can talk. It has, I bought it in London, I'm pretty sure I must have shown it in a haul. I don't know if I did a haul for the first trip to London, I think I did. Which kind of just teaches you how to draw cities. It's pretty cool, I recommend it. Most of the things that are in my bookshelves are actually things that I genuinely like because we have a second bookshelf where I keep books I don't really read or books I didn't have space for so the things that I find my most important ones, they're on the bookshelf except for my two anatomy books just because they're big bricks I would literally be taking up my whole entire bookshelf space to keep them here so I only kept things that I really really like and my games. Most of my PSP and PS Vita games are here. This is probably my introduction into anime and manga stuff. It was when I hardly started drawing again, like properly drawing. I started drawing when I was 12. I joined Pagey World, which is now dead. Like they said they're gonna do a maintenance, it's gonna be back up and it didn't come back up. I think that was back in May when they said that. So Pagey World's kind of dead right now, but back when I first joined Pagey World, I used to draw... I don't think I could even call them anime, I think I was trying to do that, but I wasn't doing it. I had my own weird style, and that was a bit direct from Pagey's style herself. But my dad gifted me this back then, which is Mastering Manga by Mark Curley, whom I used to love back then, like I was obsessed with it. But I'm not really interested in drawing manga anymore, but it's still a bit of a treasure, I think, if I ever feel like it. Plus, I just have some other things that might be helpful. I don't think anime and manga can only teach you anime and manga, but it pro could probably teach you other things too. This manga, which I still haven't read, it seemed interesting, but I'm gonna say it's called Happiness by Shuzo Oshimi. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing any names wrong. This book, which is filled with war photography. I know that is so weird for a girl to have, probably, but I had a stage and... Yeah, I actually find some shots, I don't want to call it cool, it, it is interesting, it's definitely depressing, but it is interesting to look at, that's why I've saved some of them with uh, sticky notes. A geek in Japan, my dad gifts me so many books about Japan because I'm gonna be going there next year, so he's like hyping me up and getting me more and more books, some of which are for language others or just culture, but yeah, he got, no, I think I was the one that got me this one. Or like that picked out this one. 
I know he got me a couple, so I might even confuse which one I ordered and which one he gave me. So I'm not sure about this one. I think I was the one that asked for this one. <laughs> Haven't read it yet, so I can't tell you anything. Uh, a Don Quixote book. One of my classmates gifted me this one because of the illustrations, because I'm in an illustration speciality. It's by an illustrator who's really famous in my country, and he makes some really cool stuff, so... It's pretty cool. Tokyo on foot. I think I saw this from Marcia. I'm not sure. I think so. Now, when I saw this, I think it was Marcia that, sh that showed this. I was so excited to get this, and I'm so inspired to draw like this person right now. It's, oh, it's awesome. I recommend anyone with some spare cash and an interest in Japan, or even in basic illustration, get this. It's amazing. You can find it on Amazon. I'll even put a link if you wanna. Now, this is also from my manga stage a long, long time ago. These are chibis. They called them manga chibis, but actually, they're all just characters. I don't even know if that's what you call a chibi, because I thought chibi were the tiny human characters, not the little random characters. But yeah, I used to like that kind of thing a lot. Now, the book that I'm currently reading, thanks Poots and my illustration teacher, The Master and Margarita, I get it in English. Don't I feel if it's a bit of a mistake because, uh, a bit of a mistake, I can't speak. Because my language is closer to Russian, so if I read it in my language, maybe it would have sounded better, but it sounds a bit funny just reading some words I recognize in English, but, you know. This so far, I only read a bit. Yeah, I'm only in this, this deep in. <laughs> I've read nothing. So far, it's pretty good. Check it out, it's good. Uh, go listen to Pew's book review. Gothic Coolitos. Um, I used to have a mild obsession with Coolitos, and this is back again. I was 11, 12 probably when I got these, but I always thought they were super inspiring. I don't know why people hate on anime so much. I was a kid and I was like, ah, oh, yes. Okay, the thing that fell down on me is, um, a Japanese phrase book and dictionary, which my dad got for me, and it's pretty handy dandy. They even have the entire alphabet, basically. The entire if you're gonna got a kana right here, so it is pretty handy dandy for me if I forget a letter. Uh, the other things that are sitting on top are Makatsune Miku Project Diva. Love it, love it to death. Probably my first PSP game ever. I'm not even a Star Wars fan or anything. I haven't watched the movies in ages. I would watch them again, I just haven't. <laughs> Is this one Star Wars Lethal Alliance? I loved this game as a kid and I still do. Because it is my childhood. Okay. Now, I have a ton of games on top. And I do mean it. Now... Most of these are my old PSP games. I used to play on the PSP all the time. When I was seven and I found out the PSP was a thing, I needed to have a PSP. It was- it just went like that. I say can see the of the Star Wars Leap of Alliance because I guess the first one broke. Ghostbusters, I don't- I didn't even get too far in this game. I think it looks fine. The Sims Pets, I love the Sims games. Ben 10 Cosmic Destruction, also a good one. Also one of my first games ever, Naruto. Back in the day when I was like seven, I used to be obsessed with Naruto. Naruto Ultimate Ninja Heroes. Indiana Jones, I didn't get too far in this one, <laughs> neither did I get in this, but he's a me now. Meant an Alien Force. Actually, yeah, the one I played, I think, was this one. This cat from the Japanese hole. It's adorable. This crystal. This cat that I got in the UK as well a while ago. It's a little totem thing. You can see it better if it's here. A little lizard. I don't know where I got this from, but it's cute. A black sheep, which is a candle. Most covered in dust. It's probably the dustiest thing on the shelves. Another funny looking cat. A Totoro handmade plushie that I got at an event. In our events, we have a lot of uh, independent creators selling stuff. This thing I'm pretty sure was a gift from an event as well. And another one of the Japanese whole stuff. All right, the rest of the shelf is manga and games. What did you expect from me even? Let's go through my games together! There's two more I didn't show. I have Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and Revelations. It was really cheap so I got it. Watch Dogs, the original one. Whoop! A GTA San Andreas. Hitman. Haven't even opened it. K 
King's Bounty. This was cheap. <laughs> so, Tomb Raider. And Call of Duty Modern Warfare. That was a gift from a friend. Actually, I'm pretty sure Hitman was a gift too. Cover Girl. I never played this. I'm not even sure what to do with it. Guitar Room and Lives. Now, this I think might be my very first game. I was obsessed with this. I had no idea how to play it at first. It's my first rhythm game and one of my first games ever. I love it to death. If anyone still has a PSP and you can get it, please get it. It's so good. It also has such a unique art style. It's amazing. The songs are great. It's great. Good game. Nobody knows about it, but it's great. Uh, all my Higurashi volumes incoming. The Pusheen book I got in the UK last time around. Shiver by Junji Ito, who is probably the best person to ever do horror anything. This stuff is so weird and creepy and my little scaredy cat but can't handle it. But I still read it. This is a gift my mom brought me back from the US. She didn't know I like Black Butler. She doesn't really know what anime I like at all. She got it on accident, but she managed to get something that I actually like on accident. So, this is the Black Butler art book by Yana Tuboso. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong again. This is amazing. If you're a Black Butler fan, it's worth your money. It's great. It has beautiful works in it. I'm not even that huge a Black Butler fan, but it's actually pretty cool. And this is a very very old sketchbook as in there's barely anything in it but yeah it's it's this old so i would assume i was 13 at best no i probably 12 if i had to guess when i had this so it's been a long time shelf number two there's less to show here so we're good i have fade Stella, which i got as the collector's edition so it's a full box of stuff it's so cool like everything in that box is super cool. I love everything. Oh. If anyone's a Fate fan, I could show you what I got. I'm pretty sure I took photos of everything because I was so excited about it. I can show you, let me know. This game is actually really good. So if you're a Fate fan, or even if you're not a Fate fan, let this be your introduction. Let Fate Zero be introduction, then play this. These are... My country has anime magazines. A few of them. Like, they release one every like half a year or every year or something like that so this is the first one and this is the second one that i have i'm sure they have more i just only have two my life is strange comic which i went to i specifically went to uh forbidden planet to buy it <laughs> i was very excited to go do that the tam uh, pamphlet thing from uh miku expo not expo yeah it is Miku Expo. I don't know why they called it Miku Expo. It was more like a concert. And the other pump, a guidebook. So, these are very treasured, valuable items. Blue Exorcist, which is a gift by a friend. I still haven't read it, nor have I watched the anime, so I don't really know anything about it. I've heard it's good. A dictionary in my language, so you're not seeing the cover. Satan's Secretary. Um, I haven't read it yet. It still seems funny as crap, though. And Gudetama's Existential Thoughts most treasured thing. This is the mess I have to fix, so I'm gonna just quickly show you what is there. I have this thing that I got in London. It's holding a sapphire, I think. I don't remember what it's supposed to signify, but this necklace that my grandma, grandma gave me, which is a bit weird, but kind of cool. Loads of necklace boxes. I just keep my more valued ones here. This one is not particularly like expensive or anything. It's just so pretty that I didn't feel like taking it out of the box. Yeah, look at it. It's a Sailor Moon necklace. If I find a link to it, I will send it. It's so pretty. This is a bookmark that was handmade by one of my friend's grandma. It's so cute. Now, I'm a bit of an earring collector, so I have a... Uh, these roses. And these pearls. And I don't remember where I bought this cat, but cat. <laughs> these are all my chokers, all shoved in here, and they definitely need to be reorganized. And on top of them sits this thing, which I loved as a kid, and I found it on accident. And these here are my jewelry boxes. Next shelf! This one is barely messy, but maybe my favorite one, actually. Here we have Japan planning map. <laughs> Again, my dad. And the meaning of lift, which just has a ton of made-up words with their meanings. It's a bit funny and small, that's why I got it. I just thought I was sitting in our bookshelf where everyone keeps their books and nobody's using it or reading it right now, so I, I grabbed it. 
I'm not gonna take this out of its cover because I don't wanna waste too much time, but Lewish's book, amazing, worth it. Gotta love Lewish, shout out to Lewish. I remember when I sold this in Forbidden Planet and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Forbidden Planet is probably my favorite shop on earth, so too bad it's all the way over in the UK. The first manga book, this is the actual manga book. It's great. The Odra Claire Fragments. I think she re 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 released it again because this one had some troubles or something like that. I don't know. Something was up with the publisher. But either way, I got it the first time that she released it and I still love it. I think the new one might look better from what she said, but it's still pretty cool. Check out all the Ghost in the Shell. Some good, good, good stuff. Beginner's Guide to Painting in Photoshop Character. So far, this has been useful. I haven't gone for the whole thing, but I am using it. Sketching from the Imagination Sci Fi. This is cool. There's so much cool stuff in here. If you're interested in drawing sci fi stuff, yes. Graphite. I think this is like a magazine that you can actually subscribe to, and I'm considering subscribing to it because good stuff and yeah my dad got me this one the cool japan guy a hand warmer with a little polar bear imperfect girl another manga that i haven't read yet it's a book by a chinese philosopher so i'm really interested in reading this one i stole it from my dad i have a few of these masks i showed them in the halloween haul a little kitty which when you put it under the sun it starts moving its paw as it does now. If I put it closer to the sun, it moves even more. It's really cute. Seraph of the End, the first volume, because I really like Seraph of the End, so don't have me. Japan. This is filled with all kinds of stuff, again, from my dad. Cannabis Works by Tatsuyuki Tanaka. He's such a favorite of mine. Oh, another one of the masks. More manga. The Ruby Manga. I read this one actually, so. Betuo made some out of the first and second volume. This anime is so good. Um, haven't read the manga yet, but I would assume it's just as good. I would recommend you start just reading the manga because we're not getting a second season of that. <laughs> the uh, Kaguya Sama Love is War volumes because I love Kaguya Sama Love is War. You, you, you can't have me. This, the first one, second. <laughs> and the third one. I love this anime and manga. The anime was good. I actually got the manga before the anime got released, and then just like a month later, they were like, Kago somehow love is war anime coming out, and I'm like, oh dang it. I thought that I could be a special little hipster kid and watching the thing that nobody knows about, and then just bam, it became a massive meme. The first. Ew, a bug. A dead bug. Oh, I love finding these. I hope this didn't become a bug nest or something. But this is my first and only Dr. Pepper I've ever had. And I have to save it as a Steins Gate fan. This is an important first experience and I will save it forever. A little owl, which is a gift from my grandma. A little Hello Kitty and a little glass whale. I used to love collecting glass figures. If anyone else did that. Let me know, we can share our little collections. The kitty from the Japanese thing. A pile. <laughs> a pile of stuff, let's check him out. Another Japan book from my dad. How to be an artist that I got in the UK. Another Ben 10 game, Dead Rising 3. I made a short let's play of that, it didn't go too far because I can't even beat the first boss. That's just how I roll. Remember me. I'm not sure how much I like this game. Michael Jackson. And Sims. I love Sims. Any Sims game. It's great. An open season. I think I got stuck when I was a kid somewhere on this. I tend to get stuck in games so easily just because I make dumb mistakes. A teeny tiny owl. This is from the anime event. Look at it, that's the cutest thing. Now, I have a story with this book actually. When I was younger, um, I had this and I brought it to school one day. I put it on my desk, I was in a private school, so everything's meant to be secure, and I returned, and it was gone. And I ended up buying it again. And it's a book that teaches you how to draw fairies, and elves, and all kinds of stuff like that. It's pretty cool, actually. 
And this is a book that I was writing as a kid. I used to write a lot, and I still would if I found the time. Another coloring book. More PSP games. Let's go over them quick. Sims 2, amazing. The Sims 2 Sword. Loco Rocco. I think my aunt gifted me this one. Secret Agent Clank. Wally and Cloudy with a chance to meet both. That game's good too. A little Kimmy doll. So pretty. This was a souvenir I brought back from my friends, but I didn't want to give them to them because I accidentally broke it over here. So I decided to keep it instead. So I gave them a different one. A little lucky cat. And my little music box. Next one. Bam. All right, this is also a mess. I have this jar which is filled with all kinds of random things. Okay, these two are so precious and I need to show them off and you need to check out the girl that makes them if you're interested in cute accessories. These two are two of the most beautiful things I own. They're handmade, so she literally hand- I'm not sure if she glued or sewed them on, I don't know what she did, but yeah. All of this is handmade, it's so gorgeous, and they're not even that expensive, they're surprisingly cheap for the quality that they are. Her name's Fairy by Foxy, she makes amazing things. This was a gift from one of my classmates, it's so cute. Oh, I filled it up with scrunchies, I was wondering. <laughs> I was wondering where they all went. This is a sticker book with London on it. I used to have a mild obsession with London, a Brookstone magazine thing. And this is from the gallery of my book or not. A cosplay book, love this. What? The ultimate concept art guide. This is super interesting if you're interested in that stuff. An ocarina, that doesn't actually work. It works like a regular whistle. You can't actually play this. This box is where all my accessories lie, so it's kind of... I'm not gonna show everything that's in there, it's just there. The Another Manga, which is a fat piece of garbage, but I love it. I love Another, and I'm considering graduating with Another as an illustration. Because I found out it is actually a book, not just a manga. I know, right? Oh, how to write amazing anime, so I haven't read the manga. Dune, Spew's recommended it. I haven't read it, so I can't say anything, but I would assume it's gonna be good. Manga clip art. This is also teaching you digital art. Now this is from the Fate Collector's Edition that I got. It's the character concept art book. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> I can't love this enough. <laughs> Fahrenheit 451. I decided to give it a shot. Still haven't read it. And the book that I was reading back when I was learning English. And ladies and gentlemen, we're down to the last one. I do love plush toys. I know I'm almost 18. But I just have an obsession with plush toys. I don't think I want to show off every single one of them, but just know I love them and you can do nothing about it. Um, I'm gonna show y'all everything when it's done, tidy, when I tidy the note. See you in a sec. So it's done! I tidied up everything. To be a little bit more organized. So top shelf is like anime and Japanese stuff mainly. Second shelf is my drawing stuff. And then down here I have the random things, all my games, and I yeah, everything Japanese up there. Every anime and Japanese thing is up there, basically. So yeah. I'm gonna quickly show you. This is it for this video. I know it was a bit random and weird, but I hope at least some of you guys enjoyed it. And if you watched to the end, you're the real OGs. And I'll see you next week. Next Friday, be here. It'll probably be a game video, I would assume. It'll be definitely shorter than this, but see you then. Bye! Sugar in the in and out.